Stay right on. We made it down South Point. That was an epic drive. The sun's uh, kind of almost setting right now. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. Oh, I'm stoked. First, the cool I brought in. Yeah. Oh, oh dude. Mean. Yup. Oh, cool it for days. Solid taco. Cause this stuff is mean. Whoo! Hmm. Okay, guys. Today is the uh, epic trek of treks. We're heading all the way down to South Point. Something like a hundred miles away. Kau'u, uh, yep. my homeland. Sean's homeland, he's from Kau'u. So we're gonna go down there, we're meeting up with some real nuts, uh, like a Lua fisherman. They're gonna teach us the ways. We got uh, some free gear from Hama Bombs, from Hawaii Fishing Gear, thanks a lot. We also yeah. got, oh, yeah, we, another hookup we've been getting lately, Ginger Mate. Guys who make Big Island Organics here in uh, Hawaii, you might have seen these. Hooking us up with drinks now, these are so prime. Don't panic, it's 100% organic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, so we're making the trek down there right now. It's about, I don't know, three hours away, something like that. Yeah, we got a while. <laughs> we got a while, but that's minus because it's gonna be action tonight. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Epic drive. The sun's uh, kind of almost setting right now. We're here. It's nice. It's really nice. It's kind of a perfect day for South Point as far as it goes. It's offshore wind. It's a nice, strong wind. It's beautiful. Yeah. It means our lines will go out far. We're gonna go just check out the shoreline while we're waiting for the products to meet up with us. Yeah, it's like it could be promising. We're it hoping. does, dude. We're hoping, we're hoping we can catch that. Closer. Yep. <laughs> oh. this. this is the jump, dude. Maybe we should jump in the morning. Yeah. We don't want to be cold all night. Yeah. Okay, we found the Brados down a little bit past where we were just hanging out. Bro, I ran into an old classmate. Yeah, Sean freaking rat. First guy we talked to was like, oh, Sean, yeah. I know you're from fifth grade. That's like yeah. so funny. I was very great when I, was, when I used to go to school down here in the Alehu. Pretty yep. mean. That's a small world, man. Yeah. All right, we found the crew. Da -dush. Just unloading all of our stuff right now. Then we're going to start doing some afternoon whipping and getting ready for the uh, night game, which is apparently when everything starts really going off. Yeah, that's, that's the scoop. So, meantime, we're going to be chilling, whip a little bit, relax, eat a little bit of poi, eat some poi, enjoy the sun, the yeah. sunset. Hang out. Oh, how's this black hawk down? Oh, wow. Uh, Capono. Nui, right? Nui. Right on. And then we got uh, Tyrell on the truck. Jeep. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Slay time. Slay. Oh, I mean, it's gonna be an awesome night. Hopefully. 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 <laughs> Today is gonna be first day that I'm sampling out the uh, conventional. Pretty stoked on that. The nice conventional reel right there. Zoo! A mean trash bag setup going on out here. A prime setup, bro. It is so far out. The trash bags are like half a kilometer out right now. Pretty epic way of fish. Beautiful rod setup. I feel so like unprepared looking at all this prime gear. <laughs> right on, everybody's setting up their gear right now. 
I'm having a little snack session. Stoked. Nice sunset. I have one more of these bad boys. Yeah. There's only two more in there right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a few sips in. All right, bro, sun's going down. We enter into the night game. That's a prime sunset too, dude. Yeah. First piece of bait out there. Land-based boat. All right. Okay, so it's getting pretty dark, but I'll explain what's going on. Out there at the very end, there's two trash bags tied onto a line that's tied onto a jug, and then, what is it, the leader's off that? Yeah. The leader's off that with some bait, so the wind's taking these trash bags way out there. It's probably like 300 meters out already right now. And that's where the big game comes in plays, and we can just hopefully poke up on something moke that's swimming around out there. Right on, it's getting dark enough that it's hammer bomb time. Look at these things, man, they're so tick. Yeah. Got a nice variety of the flash ones tonight too. I think I'm gonna start out heavy with a 2.5 on my big rod. What I normally dunk off of. I just got my whip set up. Again, got that hammer bomb on top, 2.5 ounce flash bomb. And then on my uh, the bottom of my line I'm running a Big Island Baits bugger, glow in the dark one. Pretty guy right there. Hit this out for a little bit, see what's going on. Undangle my line, because I managed to get a twist in it, sick. What do you got out? You're lying? Oh, nothing yet, no. Okay. You just got that guy pull out. A couple whips on this side. I should have looked where the reef was before it got dark. First one of the night. Let's see. Oh, came out. Oh, nice one. A little cooler right there, right on. Beautiful one. Right on. Okay, time to cast, finally. Out there. All six of us over here going to have a bomb hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rave. Okay, Ikaika them hooked it up, taught me a new knot. Show you guys it later, I gotta learn how one more time afterwards. Um, Borrowing one of their Nitro Plus poles, way bigger than the one I've been running. This is like 13 feet. I've been using like a six foot one. Six foot does not cut it for the cliffs out here at all. I'm like struggling to get my stuff back up the edge. This one's oh, way easier to get it up with this. First fish coming up. A little teeny pochi. Oh, Vail, nice. That's a pot. Oh, it is a pot. Oh, yeah. Right on. Decent size. Yeah. First one of the night, right on. How's that? Yeah. We got a hook up. Throwbacks. Yeah. Shoots. Hurt and I just lost my hammer bomb and my whole rig. Got dangled up on the shelf out there and then snapped. Not the kind of place that I'm gonna go into the water to try to retrieve it either. Pounding surf on the deep cliffs. No. Satlu. What are you are you bites? I caught a Mimpachi. Then I lost everything. Yeah, I got caught off on the, bringing it in on the ridge. Charging up with the hummus. Hummus and pita chips. Yeah. 
Three grand. Three grand. All right, just went to grind town on that food. Re rigged. Instead of the left side where I was right now, that pachi, I'm coming over here to the right. I'm gonna sample this area. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get hung up on a little cliff this time. Wow. So, after I re rigged this whole thing, I don't know how I managed to do this, but I freaking <laughs> tangled it up along the way. So, yeah, I don't know if I can fix that. I'm pretty sure I just gotta read do the whole thing not able to de-dangle I just gotta go re-rig stalked so stalked after much effort I have re-rigged no super big dangles this time back to fishing yeah. okay I'm uh, back here on the left side again the right side had no bites at all so sample this side again this is the only side I had much luck on that one mipachi so far so back over here you can see my other hammer bomb that's stuck down there in the rocks. If it's there in the morning and it's calmed down, I'll jump in and get it. What you got? Hammer bomb, boy. Providing. Alright, let's see him. Oh, that's a nice size one right there. Nice size one. Yeah. Are these all from tonight? Yeah. Oh, brah. And look what it's still using. Hammer bomb. Hammer bomb. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh! Bro, you f I never even caught one. I got it back on it. Yeah. Oh, that's a solid one right there. Oh! I gotta pick it up. <laughs> I'm in Pachi now. Coming in. Well, that's a tanking Minpachi, bro. Look at that bugger. Right on. Oh, you got grinds, man. Yeah. Other one coming in. <laughs> yup. Right on, brother. <laughs> Second one right here. Oh, there you go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Stoked. I like eating these small ones because you can keep them bones and all. Just Fry them hard. Open your cooler. Gotcha. Pachis, yeah. Stoked. Nice size one right here. In the cooler. Another Pachi. Inside. Oh, that just stabbed me right on. Nice size one right here. Yeah. Nice cooler. Yeah. First one, pretty sure, right here. What? What we got? What the hell? Frickin' to off it. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yep. Pan fry sessions coming in. Another pachi coming in hot. This is a pretty nice size one too. Oh, fish fry is guaranteed on. Way bigger than all the other stuff I've been nailing. Alright. Yeah! Woo! Oh, bro, don't go over there. Come over here. Am I right on? My freaking first Akula. Yeah. Yeah. Ever? Ever. <laughs> Stalked! First of cool, you got. Ever! Ever! Right on! 
Oh, oh and I dropped it. Sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh, oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. First the cool I brought in. Yeah. Okay, that's a successful night for me right now. <laughs> yep. Right on. Woo! So stoked. Casting them back out there. Bring it in. Holy Yep. Oh, bra. Let's say this came off. Oh, man. I think I just ripped it out. Oh, that is hurting. Oh, hooked up again, guys. Bra, right when you leave, I hook up again. I'm in a. <sighs> Yeah, buddy. Oh, that one just jumped out. That's cool. That's cool. That's a coolie. Haha. <laughs> oh, this one's grunting. Mean. Thank you. Yeah. That's two. Right on. Can't wait to try this. Okay, one more try. For the boys. Oh! That man oh, is mean. Mean. Yup. Oh, cool it for days. I'm stoked on my two. <laughs> <laughs> I got the two for in here. Guys? Yeah? Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Some Apaches oh, on the bottom. Who um, got the Me? Yes, yeah, sir. I was stoked I had I thought it was my first Akule and I was like, yeah, I finally got one that was all top it. <laughs> Good grinds though. So for the first time everybody cast it out, the conventional reel. Took about four tries, but I got it out far enough that it's okay. Look at this dude, it's uh pretty tick. Okay guys, pull in the water. Massive piece of poo here right here. What a hook. Mm. Gonna slide him out. Roger that, boy. How's Sean trying to figure out the pole? Oh, <laughs> you got this super tall pole. Dude, this is like a 20 foot pole right here. <laughs> <laughs> Going, Sean. You got it, bro. Right. I believe in you. <laughs> Good morning. So I might have passed out pretty hard last night, guys, but it's morning now. The douche. How's it? Yeah, so we're gonna head out soon. Last few things to do is just jump in the water and yeah. rinse off the long night of fishing. Got it, bro. Got it. How you, how you, how you doggies? Hey, pups. Yeah, I already went in in a kicky pond over there, so. Well, it's my turn now. No, it's Chicono's turn. <laughs> got epic view. Epic. Still got all our pools up here. The owner's in the ocean swimming around, so they're constantly like looking for them. Loyal dogs, huh? See, look. Still want to go check them out, huh? So, we're bringing in my slide bait. They're out there grabbing it for me because it was locked up on something and they're looking at it and they said there's a poohy on top so I guess I caught something. It's a fat eel. Gladys came back with a mean taco. Right on. Solid taco. You want me to grab your mouth and stuff? Yep. grinds right there. Sinalega for Olua. 
getting my last few casts in for the day. Then we're gonna head out from here. We're gonna go get some lunch. And then it's time to cook up some akula. Yeah. It's out. Yep. Time to. You? you too. Oh, yeah, bro. I, I still like 14 hours. <laughs> yeah, Sean's I freaking I cherry. The best night of sleep I've ever had, you know? <laughs> I know, guys. Mahalo. Yeah. Drive safe. Well, do. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, go, trash bag, go. Yes. yes. Well, more shoots. Mahalo's for showing me what's up, guys. Congratulations on your first Yeah. Shoots. Okay, guys. This is the only way out. The only way out with our two wheel drive truck. The other way was a little too nuts. So this is a little slight degree or not, sir, but it's still sh Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was sick. One more, one more. There you go. Swoop, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Oh, bro, you just ramble when you're in South Point. That's the way of life. That's what you gotta do. Bro, when in doubt, just ramble. Just ramble it out. Ramble it out. <laughs> well, we made it. Sorry. So here, here we are in the Ka'u Safari. <laughs> now, which road to take, bro? Up here. That one? I, I, I'm feeling more up here. Yeah. Probably bet is better off. We gotta get to this. We gotta get to Lily's so. immediately. Oh, my truck is so dirty now. We need locomotives pronto. ASAP. Bro, Lily's. It's called some. It's it's the freaking breakfast place right next to the main park in Alehu. Oh, bro, that, that that shack has the meanest locomotives. Okay, we made it. Ever. Okay, guys, we're gonna go get some grinds at Sean's favorite restaurant. Bro, uh, Lily's. Previously known as Lily's. Or it, it's probably been something else since 2000, but I still call it Lily's. <laughs> And and it has the meanest locomotives ever. The meanest locomotives. The gravy is so. unreal. Next you thing you're gonna see is the and locomotives. eggs. All right, shoots. Locomoco. Uh. All right, guys. This is the final piece of the puzzle. I'm gonna grind this delicious locomoco. Head home. I'm gonna get this fish ready, and then uh, we're gonna cook it up, grind that as well, and then be super stoked. Yeah. Tush. Tush. Okay, I'm back in my house. We got all the fish laid out here. Half of this is gonna be Sean's, so I'm gonna store his half for him, and then I'm gonna clean and cook the other half. Sean had to go do something in Kona, so he's not gonna be here for the grinding portion of that bugger. Spent a good 30 minutes cleaning down my truck. I got super dirty while I was out there. It is dusty where we were, so. Stoked on having a clean truck again. Now it's time to clean some fish. All this cleanness, it'll be great. Start with the Akula. Should probably use my other knife. Alright guys, fish is all prepped in there, got the two akuli in there. Ooh, that's not what they're already going on. Oh, it already smells so good. We got a onion, a little bit of cumin, some garlic, some uh, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil on the uh, little palehu style akuli. Um, making some sweet potatoes for a side. I got some poi and some kimchi as well, so this is about to be grinds. It started raining, never rains in Waikoloa, like one of the driest places in Hawaii, but being so dry, it's pretty great that it's raining. About 30 more minutes in the grill, we're going to have some grinds. Yee! Moment of truth. Ooh, nice heat wave. 
These are smelling pretty done, that's for sure. Pop one open, take a look. Oh yeah, that's done. Mmm. That's prime. Right on. Done. Okay, it's time to grind. Oh. Ah. Mmm. Oh, the Kool Aid is mean. Mmm. Wish you guys could smell this right now. So good. I think I might have said these are sweet potatoes. That was wrong. They're just potatoes, but they're good. Kool Aid has a very strong uh, flavor, but I love fish, so all this flavor is just amazing. Got a little bit of the secret uh, sauce for the side right here sweet chili sauce. If anybody hasn't tried this yet, go buy yourself some ASAP and do yourself a favor because you're going to be stoked. This improves almost everything out there. So Kool-Aid doesn't really need any of this, but I'm definitely gonna try a little bit. Just for the enjoyment. Because this stuff is mean. Woo! Mmm. That's winners. Oh, look at that piece! Oh! Yes. Okay, that's one down, one to go. All right, round two, guys. This is a slightly smaller sized one compared to the one I just pounded. So, I'm gonna get into it. I've been surviving off like poi and stuff for the last days down there at where we were fishing. This protein is awesome. Oh, oh that smells so good. With the chili sauce. This bugger sat on there five minutes too long. Got small kind singed on the outside. That's okay. This means the inside's extra tender. Eating reef fish always seems to just turn into a finger fest. It's hard to get the bones out with like a freaking fork. Gotta get in there. Sunset, fish. Hard to be more stoked. Oh. All right, guys. That's it, food is grind. I'm still tired from only having four hours of sleep last night from fishing all night, but bro, that meal right there made it all worth it in my opinion. That was so tasty. Huge mahalos to uh, Hema Bombs and Hawaii fishing gear hooking us up with some people. And a giant mahalo to all the brothers down there last night who taught me the load about fishing. I didn't learn a ton last night. I really appreciate you guys sharing your knowledge with me and helping me become a better fisherman. Super stoked. Just had my first Tua Kule ever. Couldn't be more stoked than that. All right guys, well, I gotta go clean some dishes and then go to sleep, yeah. Shoots the d d d